My name is Alex Tubbs and this is my final arts teaching project. It's showtime! To start off my project, I had a trivia game I played with my students to learn what they did or did not already know. Everyone good? Yeah. Okay, let's raise those bars. There you go. No, you don't. Write something. Our first topic that we covered was acting. We started out the topic by talking about the different types of acting. After that, I explained what a tableau is so that the students could then come up and create their own tableau through a movie choice list. All groups came up to the front and they presented a tableau and the students were then to guess what movie each group was doing a tableau about. The second topic that we covered was script writing. I started out the unit by having the students learn about story structure as well as how to properly format a script writing through an interactive Nearpod. Students were then given a few pages of script so they could go through and format what the different parts of a script were so they could use that as a study guide for when they wrote their own. They had to go through and do location breakdowns as well as character breakdowns. You know, is it interior, is it exterior, what time of day is it, describing the scene, setting the scene, including emotion, how you're wanting your characters to say something a specific way. Previous to me teaching, students had done a storyboard. So students were given the option to create a script for the storyboard that they had created, or they could rewrite the script that I had given them, which was Back to the Future, but they had to change it to a different genre. Next, the element that we talked about was cinematography. I started out the unit by presenting a Prezi about cinematography that included camera angles, camera movements, different types of lighting, the rule of thirds, and then students were shown examples of movie trailers. Students, while watching these movie trailers, were to take notes on what they noticed after I had taught them. And after I had shown each trailer, students were to then get with a partner and share what they had noticed to see if they had noticed the same things or if they had noticed different things. The next day, students went and did a cinematography scavenger hunt. Students were to get into groups and they wandered the school and they had to get specific camera angles and movements. For example, they needed an extreme close-up, they needed a tilt, they needed a pan, they needed a Dutch angle, etc. After we had concluded our cinematography segment, we moved on to directing. As I had mentioned, they were taught storyboarding right before I started teaching and she needed to cover directing so I decided that I was going to cover directing for her. What I covered with directing was different directing styles, successful tips from successful directors on how to think of perspective, to come up with creative ideas, work with what you have, how you need to understand everybody's role. If you want to understand how to talk to an actor, then it is recommended that you take acting classes. After we had talked about the different types of directing, we also covered auteur theory. And I showed the first short film that Tim Burton had ever created named Vincent. The students were shown this video to learn about auteur theory as Tim Burton is one of the most famous auteurists. After the students then played a game, we started out by having someone come to the front and being our actor. 
Everybody else in the audience was a director. The directors were then to give direction to the actor how they could create a scene. First of all, first scene. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's dead. First of all, he's dead. Yes. All right. He is a ghost. The the so ghost. A ghost. Yeah. Or a ghost. Do we know how? Do we have died? No, that's what he's trying to figure yeah. out. Yeah. He's trying to figure out. Got it. So how is our reaction? Uh, our <laughs> you can talk, like, well, Gavin. He's, <laughs> he's utterly shocked. He sees dead people. I am dead. Exactly. I see him. That's how you see him. And then you go to the grocery store. Then you go to the grocery store. Gavin! Oh, okay. We're dead. We are utterly shocked. Robbie, what do we do now? I thought we How are you going to let people see you, Gavin? Yeah, that's, yeah he's going to know. You're going to start. Yeah, then now he's going to break dance for all the ghosts. Exactly. exactly. After we had played this game, the student realized how hard it is to be a director and that you have to think of every possible situation. And I thought it was amazing that these students grasped this kind of concept just from playing a game. After we had covered all of our segments that we were covering, students were then to get into groups and they did an elevator pitch. Using the information that they gave me during the elevator pitch, students were then to create their own movie trailer. They were welcome to create a movie poster. They were also welcome to do a Google Slides and they were welcome to do an actual movie trailer. They were given in-class time to work on this assignment. For our culminating event, I had each group come up to the front and present their movie trailer to the classroom. Ava, her sister will be like, this is your sister, your mom's not me, and she is, she's a friend, she's a friend. And Amelia will be like, well, I don't have a sister, and the Ava will talk about being killed. Okay, so, okay, so Blake is able to learn and understand the quickly, even though she doesn't remember uh, how she got there and everything, and so that's kind of the house she built, and kind of a hand shot Alright, so yeah, we're gonna do like a little, like really creative style film. This is like we're following like these two guys, Carl and Ryan, like best friends, and they wanted to like be gangsters, but they're also like suburban dads. So yes. So then we start with this like establishing shot of like, you know, Denver. Uh, it's creative directing and that means the director works with actors to create dialogue that is creative yet still so. It's like, oh, magic. Like, that's that's the most basic Um And it will start out black and change the establishment shot of the magical Okay. Sparkle art. Sparkle art. Sparkle My cops, so I go back. So the main character is Manny. He moved to his new house in uh, California. We'll do a establishing shot. <laughs> the son of the casino owner finds out that his dad had been murdered. No. I wanted to collect as much data as possible using both formative and summative assessments. I had a Kahoot quiz, I had a 3 to 1, I had students do an exit ticket, I assessed their script writing, their movie trailers, their cinematography scavenger hunt. I had them participate in a crossword. I tried to think of different assessments that I could have my students participate in. I wanted the students to learn through lecture. I also wanted them to learn through hands-on experience. I wanted my students to get up and move, but I wanted to provide about the background information and the background knowledge that goes into creating a movie. Movies are full of magic and wonder, and I wanted students to feel the same thing that I feel. Mm -hmm.